just to just preface this all, Naviance like communicates with Common App. So like in the same way when you download a new app and you like want to log in through Facebook or Gmail or whatever, like you need to like give that authorization. So there's like there's all these steps that you have to go through to like make those two things happen. It's like a three minute video. We're gonna watch it and then we're gonna talk about what um Athena asked me about. I don't know that the volume is so important, but I'll look to see how to make it louder. If you are applying to a Common App College and your school uses Navian's eDocs, you'll need to complete Common App account matching and Navian student after you create your account on the Common App website. Once you complete the Common App matching, you'll be able to request transcripts and teacher letters of recommendation directly from Navian student. This video will walk you through the steps of creating an account on the Common App website and completing the Common App account matching in Navian student. Step one, open a web browser and go to www.commonapp.org. Step two, click create an account and then select the first year student option. Step three, enter your email address and password then complete all the information required on the page. Please note, it is important to remember your Common App email and password because you will need it later to match your account. Now that you've created your Common App account, follow these next steps to complete your registration. Step one, go to the Common App tab and complete the required profile, family, education, and other information listed on the left-hand side. Oh, you don't need to do all that right now. We're gonna kind of like skip through that so fast forward. Common App tab and complete the required profile, family, education, and other information listed on the left-hand side. Be sure to go to the education section and add the school you are. That you do need to do. So if you go to the education section and you didn't already add where you go to high school, please do so because it's like a key component of the matching. Currently attending under the area of the page for current or most recent secondary high school. Simply click the Find School button and search for your school. Step two, go to the college. So for the moment, just do that. I have the date of entry on another slide somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna the date of entry. That would be, I would teach you Like that. when you enter ninth grade. Oh. I have it somewhere, but. Uh, like 2009. It's no. 2000. It's September 2018. 18, no. Yeah. 18, 19, yeah. 19, no, it's 18. 20, 20, 20. I just yeah. have, I got it. Yeah. Okay, so it's not 2009. September 2018. But as long as everybody has the education part in? Mm -hmm. Okay, next next step is key as well. Let's search tab. Locate at least one college you are applying to. So for the purpose of this, just put in any school that you are highly likely going to apply to, if not most definitely going to apply to, and just get that on your like list of colleges. And click the plus sign to add the college. Oh wait, I just have a question. What if you're applying to more, because I know there's a limit of only 20 colleges. Yeah. What's the problem if you're more than 20? We're going to have to talk, because you can't put more than 20 on this. I know, yeah. So yeah, so like you'd have to like apply using their application. There are other applications that you can use, but we can kind of talk about that later. Maybe like if you're watching and thinking of applying to more than 20, you should be talking to your counselor, because there's like, Maybe a school like, like Wake Forest like has their own application and Common App. So like if you're applying there, like use Wake Forest app, so then you have another spot on the Common App type thing. Right. That makes sense. And I think for what I remember, you might have some schools that do also just like have a separate application potentially, but we can talk about it yeah. more That's privately. Okay. Alright, so we added the school. Go to the My Colleges tab. Here, you will see all colleges that you added listed on the left. Select the college name. Select any college. And go to the Recommenders and FERPA section. Any college Click. in the Recommenders or FERPA section should show blank like this. And then you just need to hit that complete the release authorization. Complete release authorization. Read and follow the prompts. And complete the FERPA authorization form. 
The completion of this form is required to match your account in Navient Student. You've now completed the initial steps for creating a Common App account. As a final review, before you match your account in Navient Student, you'll need to do the following on the Common App website. One, create a Common App account. Two, find and add the current school you are attending. Good here. Three, add at least one college to your Common Application list. And four, Sign the FERPA release authorization form. Hi, you good? Where's the FERPA um, authorization form? Now that you have your Common App account set up. All right, for those of you that are like up to date, you gotta open up Navi on some next. You gotta oh. keep filling it out. Keep doing that. You're supposed to waive your right. Um, it basically means like you won't read the recommendation. Should we, should we do that and like complete? Yep, yep. Wait, what? You click on the college, and then it right. says. So you put in school. You got that. For each Good. school. Yeah, for each yeah, school. You just do recommend the and then you just fill out that. So this is like that means you're like 100% you're applying. No, it's just, I mean, it just says that um, you just can't read your recommendation letters. Oh yeah, like you agree to that. that that's what it if it has a chat next to recommenders and an FDR, I mean, but you did it. You did it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for the purposes of this. Okay. So you. Uh, release authorization. How are we doing? Wait, I Yep. Right. Uh. Yep. 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 No, under I understand the waiver. Blah blah blah. How are you doing? Oh, wait, no. You got it on that. Okay. Good. Um, I think go back to the top. You're good. So go to the college search. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, so, like, I didn't get a chance to do it because of how I started. But, like, at the end of the day, your common app, like, all those little sections to the left, like, all need green checks. Like, you get a little green check once you fill in all the required uh, questions. Everything needs to be green or it, like, literally won't let you apply. Yeah, so once you sign, and this goes to the people at home, once you sign the FERPA on like one school, like it doesn't matter which one, it just has to be one, it'll like work for everything else. Yeah. We're doing that, I understand that waiver. Yep, yep, you know, everything like I waive my rights, I understand that I'm waiving my rights, and then go into Navion and log in. Are we supposed to waive it? That's the top. Okay, now you just talk about it. Sir? Do you know I'm waiting for you? Okay? Yeah, that's that's good. Hey, Ben. Good? Good. Hey. Kind of like moving along? How are we doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah? A few more clicks, and then this is going to be matched. And then we can like really kind of have fun. And have completed the initial steps. It's time to match your account in Navient Student. From the Navient Student homepage, click Colleges I'm Applying To in the My Favorites section. At the top of your application list, you will see a pink banner indicating you need to match your Common App account if you have not already done so. Click Match Accounts. A new tab will open in your browser to the Common App website. Enter the email and password you used when you created your Common App account on commonapp.org. Click Sign In. Check off the I Agree checkbox to authorize the connection, then click Connect. A notification will display that you'll be redirected back to Navient. If you have followed all the steps outlined in this video, your Common App account and Navient's account should now be matched. And the colleges listed in your Common App account should now be listed in your Navient student Colleges I'm Applying to list. It was false. 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 No, you, uh, okay, go to college and find you. Hit match. Yeah. Pop up window, go, go. You gotta like catch it. 
I think it's this thing. That little. It still doesn't work. Yeah. Can you fill this out? Yeah. There we go. We're good. You probably also have the flat. Who grabs it? Sign back in. No, I Okay, so we'll just do this for everybody, including those at home. Alright, so really like just for the purposes of this, you guys can do what you want obviously, but um, it's like two browsers. One has Naviance, one has has Common App, right? On Common App, under that exact same section of recommenders in FERPA, we're gonna do two things. One this is where you're going to find out if the college is going to accept other recommenders. So let's try and figure out one that does. Let's scroll to the bottom. No. Yeah. OK, perfect. So scroll, right? yeah. yeah. Will is on a college that literally towards the bottom, it says other recommender. And then at, there's like a little blue bubble that says invite other recommender. So what you would do, and those at home that have like some third person outside of school that's writing a recommendation letter that has a college that accepts that, is it also showing that? What? Some other recommender. It might show that. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, are we supposed to be on the other screen? You're good. We're just talking through this thing. That's where you would go to invite that person. So like, yes, you can tell your boss to send me an email and send me their letter, and I can like get it all there, you can also just invite them to Common App. Okay. And then they, as long as they're tech savvy, which is kind of troubling sometimes yeah. for some people, depending upon, you know, what, you know, decade your boss was born, they can just like upload their letter to Naviance and it makes things easier because you can then like actually see it. Not like read it, see it, but see that it's been uploaded. Cool. If they can't do that, then they have to send it to me. Okay. okay. 
still in this recommender's FERPA area. At the bottom, for every school, is this little thing that says advisor, and then it says invite advisor. For the purposes of their language, I am your advisor. So if you could go to the bottom and quote unquote invite me, I will now, when I get back to my computer, be able to log into my like in advisor common app and um, see what you're working on. So for those of you that are like listening at home, put down whoever your counselor is. Yeah, it's uh, a it's it's the first initial of my first name and my last name at Bronzeville School. So a kind Bronzevilleschool.org. It is double A. And then once you fill in all those required fields, you just hit invite. I don't know why they did this, but then after you invite me, you need to hit that enable preview button. That actually like allows me to see your application. Perfect. Oh, cool. So the advisor comes up on all the colleges. Okay. Yeah. Like whatever. Yeah. Okay. Still in the. Okay. So this, this next part, um, let's talk about teachers, okay? So in this recommenders and FERPA, like, oh, beautiful. My name should show up in the middle of the page under counselor. Boom, counselor, check, Aaron type. It shows you all the things that I'm gonna send. We're not gonna get into that right now. We'll talk about that later. But what I'm, I'm drawing your attention to specifically, when I send it, it'll have a little checkbox that has been sent. So if you're like, oh my god, did Mr. Kind send my stuff? Like you can just like go on here and check. You don't have to email me. The same is true for your teachers, which we're gonna talk about in a second. When your teachers send their stuff, they too are gonna come up with their name and a checkbox as to whether or not they sent your um, recommendations. Okay? But in order for them to send your stuff to Common App, their names have to be on your Naviance account. Okay? So if everybody could go back to Naviance. Should we click continue after that, or should we just do this? Like, should I? Yeah, that's fine. The, the continue button, which is like a common button on Common App, is kind of just like it saves. Um, so that's fine. Okay, so we're going to get there in a second. Okay, so for the other recommenders, really just like somebody else. Yeah, like just anyone? Okay. Yeah. For the teachers, on the, I'll be there in a second, on the colleges that I'm applying to tab, which is the same place where you like put, checked off that green thing on the bot, on the top, there's a little section that says letters of recommendation. Letters of recommendation section. We did that. This is the invite your advisor. Okay, we're not there yet. But um, sorry, what? Uh, you click like the it says. Um, yeah, okay, like it shows up this. Yep. 
I um, tried to add a request for both my teachers, and it said, like, it said this weird things, and I wasn't able to. Yeah, so it all, like, over the summer, things get a little uh, hairy. Depending upon when you tried to do it, like, it might have been, like, updated, like, Naviance changed some stuff, like, you needed to have your Common App thing linked in order to do it. Um, it just, like, might not have worked for reasons beyond, way beyond your control. So if you hit invite, if you hit that hyperlink letters of recommendation section, that should take you to where you can pick people. It looks like some of you might have done this before. I don't think if you already have requests there, you need to add anymore. But you're going to go to add requests. You're going to pull the teacher down from the drop down. And you should just say like general request. And that general request will like make sure that any college you add in the future will be tied to their recommendation letter. You what? Yeah, you don't need to the personal note thing you don't need to worry about. Where was that? That was back in Naviance. You could say something like, Thanks so much for agreeing to do this. You could Say it doesn't need to be long. I'll be there in one second. Go to the bottom, ish. Oh, you gotta go to, you gotta go to colleges. I'm, colleges I'm applying to. Oh, I didn't yeah. put anything in there. It's no, but as long as they're. Oh, it works. Did you match? Yeah, I did that before. Okay, see what that's in the Yeah, get that request. Find it. Can we put on my general request? General request, yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember who's doing it. Both are working. Yeah. I'm like, hey. How do you want to call I really can't remember. General request, right? You guys so personal. What do I say? I just said thank you so much. You can, I just copy and pasted what I said in the crowd um, sheet. But you already, I already sent the clip for it. No, I know, but like, it's for it to be there. You want to put it here too? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, so that last three, like, that even when there's one. I'm going to say, thank you so much for writing that. Other places, you know, and then there are a lot of times. So, like, is that not good? Yeah. 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 You're like, <laughs> that is funny. Thank you so much for like, writing my letter. Like, if you like write terribly, like, mm. <laughs> I will come up in here like half the time. Thank you for the kind letter about how. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Pat, so say so Yes, because you need to. Um, Wait, press the button. You guys hold it. Back for a second. So, congrats. Wait, do you need to apply to other schools? Uh, yeah, just in case I still have to apply to AED. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to get in? Yeah, because you, like, basically like, tie between them just so that they're in place, which is totally okay. Because it's a verbal request. But I think you need to, like, add a request for both of them to, like, the general, to, like, this general list. Oh, God. Wait, you have to assess around? Yeah, it's the thing that I don't think that. So, I was just like, and then put general, and then just hit okay. and then do the same with the other teacher. How are we doing? What do I do? Good, I already have my semester. Okay, so all right, to recap, we should have a common app account, we should have the purple waiver signed, we should have invited the advisor, we should have it matched to Naviance. I just have a question. We should have invited our teachers. Yeah. Um, so we should probably notice. I am. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So I just like these are the questions that I'm asking. Um, when I was talking to earlier, but it's good because so I realized I made a list, and all of these only ask for common app. Okay. But I'm just making sure, like everything that's on the common app, because I look through them all there. They just like say, oh, we just want to come out. We don't need any extra essays or questions or anything. Okay. So that's correct, right? Whatever's on the common app is correct, right? 
Like, yeah. For, yeah, so. So, because that's a lot of colleges that they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's kind of fun. Uh, that's like, you don't have to do that. No, not any action. I just have to do I mean, you can do that now, but I don't think you really need to. That's all right. Well, 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 I mean, is that kind of it, it, yeah, it depends on your like Yeah. 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 Well, that's I mean, all you could have been like out. Yeah. Low key. Yeah. So that's the only reason why I applied to more than I could do. Because I thought I would have like 60 essays. Yeah. Now yeah. I have like 30. Like, so it's just yeah. a lot less. Is it time? No. Yeah. But don't worry about it. I'll, we'll figure all that out. You, there's link. That's like sometimes like the harder part. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Like right now, you know, what? I just made my account. I don't know. Like right now, you know, what? Yeah. I love this teacher. I always wanted to play Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Oh, I already have it. The white one? Yeah, it's a blue one. Yeah, I had it in the spring. It was like, 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 it I think mine's black or like dark yeah, blue. No, it's like different. Ew, I'm so happy that I got the one from last year. That ew, royal blue. So okay, how are we doing? Shorts. I know. I agree. That's rough. I know. Wait, do we? Nope. Like, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I'm gonna say they don't have my size. Uh, you know, we have all the size. Yeah, you ask questions. No, and I'm like, like not yeah, tracking. Everybody's good. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have another question. Yeah. So if you are doing like sp like spring um, like athletics and stuff, how do you are you allowed to put that on your um, yeah activities? It, so because it's before, so that's why. Yeah. So um, we're gonna get to the activity section in a minute, but I'll just address your question. Everything you're going to do senior year is gonna go on your common app, okay. right? Um, Theo's going to swim as a senior. Preston's gonna play uh, varsity uh, uh, lacrosse as a senior. It's going to go in, so like there's gonna become a section where it says what grades did you do this? And 12th is gonna be an option. And so like if you're going to join the um, skateboarding club, Eight. then you're gonna put down 12th grade yeah. with the like expectation that you're gonna be honest and you like have full intentions of joining the skateboarding club. Yeah. I was okay? just wondering because I didn't know yeah. if it's completed yeah. or not. Also, just to like close the loop on that and then we'll talk about this, if like your plan as like a voices representative is to like start something new this year, like you most definitely can say that, you can write that, you can talk about that. You know, obviously not everything we like kind of put out into the world happens and like that's okay. But like if your intention is to recruit new people to have more voices ceremonies, like you should be talking about that. Cool. And then working towards making that happen because you said you were gonna make that happen. If it doesn't happen, like that's a bummer, but like they're not gonna hold it against you, right? Okay. The education section. So this is, um, I think, sort of straight to the point. We did, um, Bronx was our current school. If we go back to this on the Common App, to somebody's uh, math capabilities, September 2018 is when you started. Um, there is a section that it says grades. So on the, the Common App tab, like the actual tab on the Common App? Yeah. So in the education section, right? So you got the school, you got the date, everything else I think you should be able to like answer on your own. There's a grade section. It says, how many students, what's your class size? It's 126. Class rank, we don't rank students. So you just put none. How are we doing it? everything? Okay. And it's unweighted, right? It is unweighted. Um, okay, so your GPA scale is actually out of 4.33, but you can't put that down, so you're going to put 4.0. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Uh, so we just put four. Just put four because that's all it'll let you do. Your cumulative GPA is on Naviance. Um, I obviously can't tell like everybody everybody's GPA at the moment. It's on Naviance. In about a week or two, you'll get your transcript. You can see your transcript there. You should enter it in. Um, oh, how do you enter in your transcript? Like, how do you send your transcript to college? Or into the Common App. Like, do you put in the Common App? Saying... Yeah, so, okay. So, um, if you're looking at your Common App, right? On the left, like, toolbar, it says courses and grades. If you get lucky, at no point in time this year do you have to deal with any of that stuff, right? And by lucky, I mean not all colleges require you to, like, manually put in your classes and your grades. However, once you add a college to your list that requires that, you'll see the number of schools that require you to do that portion of the, of the common element. Some of you will have one, you have three right now, some of you will have zero. It's super tedious. We will get you a copy of your transcript and you will have to like manually like look at ninth grade and write English nine and put A. World history one and put A. Like you have to like put all that stuff into the Common App where it won't let you apply to those three places because everything needs to be checked off before you can apply. Okay, thank you. Okay. So hopefully you dodge that sort of like a bookkeeping disaster because that's super annoying. I send your transcript and only, and if only if the college requ requires it, do you have to deal with that section. Okay, back in education. Current or, uh, what did you say? Current classes. You are gonna list the classes that you are taking. We are gonna do this now. Right under it. Uh, current or most recent year courses. Enter the quantity. English, math, science, history, educational humanity, gym. That's six. Everything. Chorus, orchestra, Bronco TV. Um, you know, you can't really do an independent study, but like maybe you can if you know what's going to happen. Everything you're taking, including gym. We are on a semester system. We have two semesters. Can't you check on Infinite Campus? Yeah, it's on Infinite Campus, of course. Where does it say it? Uh, I don't know, like under your bell schedule or like uh, schedule? Uh, it'll say under grades. You won't have any grades, but. Should I just count? Help. You're taking help. Put it on there. Everything runs for a year. English, history runs for a year. Science runs for a year. Although you could say gym runs for a year. Yeah. Econ, it's by semester because it's micro and math. Yeah. So economics, in the purposes of this, it's going to say like what class are you going to take, and you're going to write AP economics, and it's going to be a full year. Somewhere else, you can put down what AP test you're going to take, and you'll be able to write um, micro and macro. Yeah, mythology is just a semester, so when you put it on there, you're going to write mythology, and it's going to say first semester, second semester, full year, and you're going to put down. And we're only doing senior years? Or only, only senior year. Have you written any chart? Health is a semester. Health is a semester. Right? You're going to find the level, right? So if it's AP English Literature, it's Advanced Placement. If you're in English 12, it's Honors. Does PE count as a class? PE counts as a class. It's just like, I think it's regular. Wait, does like skills count as a class? Skills does not count as a class. We'll put on the dropping gym. The WISE program counts as a class. Did, for like health or something, should I just put it as other? Health? Like how does it show up? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Do I do two because I'm doing two? Yes. Here's the thing. I just want to make this, I just want to mention this. And I'm going to mention this to the camera as well. And I'll say this again. Everybody in this room, everybody in this school that's graduating wants to like apply to college. like. Fast. Like, get it done, get my parents off my back, like, I apply. Once you fill in your common app and you send it, it's like out there. 
if you come to me like a week later and you're like, Mr. D'Alessandro is not giving me, you know, like my grade, like I need to change classes, we can change your class, right? But if you sent your Common App, then we also need to tell the college, like, hey, I changed my class on my Common App. Right? I changed the class, can you, can you change those, can you make that changes at, at the college? So I'm saying all of this because nobody wins any prizes by getting an application in this weekend, right? If the due date's November 1st, they're not going to start reading until, I was going to say maybe October 31st, but probably not on Halloween are they reading applications. So you don't need to rush and get things out and done. Right? You're going to have an essay, you're going to finish it, you're going to walk around, somebody's going to be like, did you work on your essay? And you're going to be like, yeah, I'm done. And that's great, but you're still going to want to maybe like go back to it even when you think you're done and like give it one more like once over or last over. You just don't need to rush to send anything because you just don't want to have to like pull anything back by making a change here in school. What does mythology um, like, oh, you can do it like. Um, just other one. Okay. Yeah. For two questions. For like uh, my math, it's like. Yeah, it's just right. Should I just put it as? Should I just put it as geometry? Yes. Uh, no, you should write function, statistics, trig as much as you can get in there. But what what do I like put it under? Like, math. Oh, but like it says. Yeah, it's like. Do I just say? Oh, wait. Oh, they give you menus? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Okay. Um, get out of that for a second. Yeah. 18. Of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And also, if it's like super like the level, for like certain things, I'm saying it can do all my classes. Because isn't it like almost the class I want? Yeah, so put it as honors. So English 12 is honors, economics is honors, political science is honors. Uh, Jim is not It says accelerated or advanced, which one would it be? It depends on the class. But if we're talking about like math, for you, it'd be right there. But if it's like econ or something, would that be accelerated? It'd be honors. Oh! oh. Oh, you just have to scroll. Thank you. Like, like, yeah. 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 yeah, you can put it on and then it says like name of it. Yeah. Oh, that's tragic. Jim is regular. I don't, or like same health and stuff. Regular. Health is regular. Jim is regular. Bronco TV is regular. Wise is regular. Um, Mythology and, and, and philosophy is regular. Uh, computer arts regular. Ceramics is regular. That class isn't running. Economics is regular. Economics is honors. And if you're in economics, then you're in um, government and political science next semester. So you want to make sure you get that on your on your common app, and that's honors as well. So you do those English twelve is honors. Wait, so like. That's two classes. Economics is a class that's going to start and end mm -hmm. either in September and January or February and June. And then you're going to go into government. And that's going to start and end two classes. This is so what about course? Course is one class. Course, I'm going to say, is regular. There is honors band. I don't know if anybody has the luxury of playing band at the honors level. But um, if you're in that, you should put that. There's orchestra honors. You should, if you're in that, you should put that. Um, what else can I say? Okay. Okay. There's an honors section, like a literally like a section that lists your honors. These are academic honors. Many people will not have any because I don't know. They're academic honors. Some of you maybe have been uh, like received an award at like the grade wide assembly at the end of the year, like the innovation award, or the like engaged citizenship award, or like the um, critical thinking award. So you'd like literally put that in, and then you'd say grade ten, and then it says like what um, 
I think it says like what level or what level of recognition. Like it says like state, local, nationally. You would put locally for any school award. Maybe some of you have a French award or a Latin award or a Spanish award. You put government for semester two. Forensics is not honors. Well, time out. Forensics is not honors. Oh, forensics is not honors? Is not. Okay. What's our math class called? Function slash stats slash Are we doing it over here? Math other. Really? I might have. Like Yeah, like a Spanish award, a Latin award, a school level award. There, um, there's like AP awards, like if you, I think you need to like get a three or better on like multiple exams in any given year. So if like last year you took maybe like two or more AP exams and got a three or better in your college board account, it should say if you are some type of like AP scholar or AP recognition, if you can't find it, Specifically that, I can look into that if you email me. That same goes for the people watching. If you have like multiple threes or better in any given year on multiple AP exams, you should have an AP sort of uh, award. You can look into that. Um, hold on, I'm thinking of awards. Like the, maybe there's a NISMA, right? So I don't know if you did that, but NISMA is a popular one. Like you got the NISMA level 12. Ninja Bandit Award. Skills is in Hamlet's classroom. No. Okay. Why is this just regular? Why is this just regular? The grade level, do we do when we got it or just? When you got it. It is the same type of grade. What should you put for the levels? Yes. I mean, exactly. Yeah. So you put that in Scholar with Honor, 11th grade. I guess that's probably national recognition. Okay. Perfect. It's national. And uh, yeah, it's national. I'm doing this separate. Okay. It seems like uh, we maybe should have planned for more time. Um, um, da -da 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 -da. All right. You most likely nobody's working with like some not-for-profit to help with their application. So like. The next section under um, current or most recent, actually, the next session under honors is the community organization one. So you just can put no. Wait, okay. Indicate the number of community, blah, blah, blah. Zero is the answer. And then your future plans. Uh, community based organizations, zero. Uh, future plans, whatever your future plans are. I don't, I don't know. Put him in. Is this under where? Why do we put it for the honors then? So we didn't get like a minimum. If you didn't get it, then you didn't know. And then you put Yeah, you put zero. <laughs> and then future plans, you just find your future plans. Astronaut, lawyer, doctor, I don't know. Uh, environmentalist, activist. You know. Unknown. Whatever the case may be. Scientific researcher. Okay, cool. Let's see what's next. I think we're going to get to the activities, I hope. Okay. It's like sweaty in these masks. Squirrel. Activity section. This is um, 
I wouldn't say any more important than anything else, but it's important, right? You get 10 activities that you are asked to list in order of importance. So in theory, like the most important thing is probably the thing you do the most of, I, like the most time. But that doesn't have to be the case because maybe you like only volunteer like once an hour every week somewhere, and that's the most important thing to you, and that's totally okay. The activities should be listed in your own personal order of importance. I'm obviously going to send you these slides, and you can see like there's a little hyperlink here. What I want you to do when you fill out the like, please describe this activity, including what you accomplished and any recognition you've received, when you fill out that section, that's like your opportunity to tell them like all the amazing things you've done, right? So I started the skateboard club. In the activity type drop down, there's going to be something about sports or community. I'm going to fit, pick whichever one best fits, right? Because like not everything's going to perfectly fit. So community, position, leadership, description, started, organized, like strong opening words. The, wor the, the first word of those sentences does not need to be and probably should not be I. Organized, started, joined, led, rallied, marched, um, competed, rode, swam, verbs, strong verbs. I'll open up the link in a section, but I'm giving you a link to like strong action verbs to like use to start these uh, little character fields. Yeah. So clubs can go into this too? Yeah, activities are going to be clubs, teams, uh, potentially trips. That was an activity, I would argue. Um, you know, voices, speeches. Um, Could we do like? It gives you a little list up top. If you have a job, jobs and activity. What about right? like, a, um, like a course that we did over the summer? Or is that Not in the activities. There's a different section for that. Oh. Um, if you have a job, right? Like served, waited on. Um, you know, verbs. And so again, in the 150 characters, that's your opportunity to like say what you what you really want to say about whatever the activity is. Right. Instructor, counselor. So what are you gonna describe that you did? Okay, instructed. That's a good like action verb. Let's see how bad this messes things up. Right? 185 powerful action verbs. Led, handled, managed. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of these things online. Feel free to use whichever one you want. The point here is you're gonna waste characters if you're like I went to the pool and swam, right? Like that's just like wasted characters. Swam, 150 meter free, I, you know, I don't know what these things are. Can Competed um, for lacrosse or field hockey or soccer. Traveled with team and competed versus neighboring schools. This is under this part, right? Not this part. Yeah, the 150 okay. characters. That's where you're going to describe what you got. Performed. Beautiful. Now, it doesn't have to be so short, right? Like, you have an opportunity to say a little bit more. But what I want you to, like, what I really want to convey is, like, strong, powerful opening verbs. You're going to follow that by like the grades that you participated in, right? We talked about that. So I'm going to swim this year. I'm checking off 12th grade. I'm going to play football this year. I'm checking off 12th grade. I'm going to start the skateboarding club. I'm going to put off, check off 12th grade. 
hours spent, I think, is next. This one always confuses people. Like Just like ballpark. ballpark. Guesstimate. Don't like come up with outlandish amount of hours. There are, Ray, what's uh, 7 times 24? <laughs> Think about how many hours there are in a week That's and don't come up with some crazy number. 160. 160. 168. 168. Will came through. 168 hours in a week. If you spend like 75 hours swimming, I don't think that's possible. Why not? Because there's like not enough time to sleep. What if you live in the water? Do you live in water? Squeeze in the pool. You have a water bed? I put 16 out there. You have a water bed? I do not. <laughs> weeks per year? I know there are 52 weeks in the school year, so if you do something year round, or 52 weeks in the calendar year, if you do something year round, then put 52 weeks. If you only do it in like the first semester, then like September, October, November, December, January, four times five that I can do is 20, so put 20 weeks. Right? If you only did it over the summer, and you went on the trip for two weeks, it was two weeks. What if it's a club? If it's a club, it's probably like one hour a week for, okay. I think it's like 35 or 38 weeks in the school year. Just like rough estimate, it doesn't have to be exact. I'll come along over here. How many Good? Years? Yeah? It doesn't have to be exact, and you definitely don't want to like over, over, um, Overestimate, like grossly overestimate. How many weeks are school years I think it's 38, just because like we so call 38. July and August eight weeks. Eight weeks, so yeah. eight eight weeks yeah, two two minus two. eight, and we just add on a week or two here and there, and then we take that off. Um, but if I'm taking half time, I can build on all that. So there's about 45. 45 weeks a year? I'm 45 hours. No, more than that. Like 45 hours a week? No, is this a year? No, it's weeks in a year. Oh, and then per week, uh, weeks per week, per week. Um, also, what? Five days a week. Um, I did, um, actually, I'll work here. Saying, participated. Our friend here just said, I've removed a lot of characters from taking out the I in this activity statement, right? Which is what you need to do. Also, yeah. um, can we talk about interviews and how to like set them up? Um, I can know tell you quickly, that's not like really what we're doing today, but I can tell you quickly. Like, Go to the school's webpage, yeah. the college, and see what they say. It yeah, should be just like a schedule. form. Yeah, you can just get I'll just make sure that's exactly yeah, what you do. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. you do. Okay. We'll talk about that more like, yeah, a little bit at another event. Um, OK. Do we kind of have like what, like our sort of marching orders on this section? Does anybody want to read a particularly strong statement that they've crafted? It's tricky to like get something in the word count if you're like very like long-winded. So short, like I kind of think about it as like boxing punches, right? Like they're like kind of short and hard punches, right? It's not like this like long, verbose thing. Like participated in rallied other students to join. Okay. Okay. We're going to finish up in a few minutes. You can definitely stay if you have more questions, but I'll talk about this. I'll talk about one more thing, and then I think we can pretty much get out of here. Um, just to like get you to where it is. So your college essay, 
we're not going to talk about now because it's obviously very personalized and you know. But under the writing section, if you go to the bottom of the writing section, it says additional information. And then, so if you click on that for me, just so I see it, you get, uh, there's two prompts. One talks about COVID and the other one talks about like additional details. We'll start with the COVID thing. I'm gonna get, um, I'm going to get some college representatives to also shed some light on this particular statement. The idea of this was like, I had to stay home and take care of such and such person and go to school online. And because of that, my grades really weren't the best that they could have been during you know the March pandemic lockdown thing. That's really like what the community disruption piece is about. If you feel like there was something you were going to do that summer, which would have, would have been last summer, that like you really want them to know about, like you had this awesome internship lined up, or this job, or this program, or you're going to sing here, or you're going to swim there. I don't know about so much about playing sports, but I guess swimming is playing sports. You're going to play sports there. You're going to go to this camp, that camp. If you feel like you have to let them know that, like so be it. I would just say this, as with any piece of your writing, this writing should be just as good as your college essay writing. And your college essay writing should be just as good as your supplemental essay writing. So like the voice in those three writing formats needs to be the same. You can't like have somebody totally help you with your college essay. And then if you like write something for your supplement and you don't have somebody's help or that same person's help, and then it comes out like very different, that's like not gonna be a good look, right? So like anywhere where you're putting like large quantities of words together for the college to read, you wanna make sure like it's just as strong as the other piece that they wrote, right? So for this top one, this COVID thing, I would say like probably 95% of people here probably don't need to answer that question. The additional circumstances or uh, additional details not reflected in your application also probably don't need to answer. However, if like maybe ninth grade wasn't as good as 10th and 11th and like your college essay isn't about that and you want to like say something about that, that would kind of be the area that you would make a statement about that. Do you do the same for every college? It would get sent to every college, yes just like your college essay will get sent to every college. As will the top one, if you, if you write something, it will get sent to every college. Okay. I wanted to say a little bit more about supplements. Unfortunately, we just like really don't have the time. Who was I talking to before? Can you please announce to the team here what you did with your supplements? Um, I put all of the supplemental essay questions into a Google Doc for all the schools. That's it, right? Yeah. Perfect. My suggestion, especially if you like know the schools you want to apply to and there's a lot of them, spend however long it takes, maybe it's an hour. It took like 10 minutes. Maybe it's 10 minutes. Find every supplemental essay. Supplemental essay, I don't have a comment out over, would be within a specific college's questions, right? Why do you want to go to Wake Forest? What's the what's your top 10 list? Um, what is it about Middlebury's curriculum that excites you? Put all of those essays for every single college you're going to apply to on one sheet, one Google Doc. Then, and you should do this as well, Anna, if you haven't already, order it by due date, right? January 1st, January 15th, November 1st, November 15th, December 1st, like have everything in like date order. So you can go through it and get them done in the order in which they are due, right? 
if you're working on some supplement that's due in January and you're applying early decision and you haven't started that one, you gotta like spin yourself around and, and start again. Where are the like supplements found? On the Common App. Once you like add the specific school, so if you go into the one school you have mm -hmm. and go into the question oh, section, um, no, that's the main essay. It's cool. So they would show up here. That's your, um, in 300 words, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That's your supplement, not a school. It's a little tricky too, because sometimes the supplements are in this questions tab, and sometimes they have like this pulled out separate thing. So you really gotta do a little bit of digging sometimes, which is a little bit annoying. Your supplements and your college essay, again, like the voice in those essays, like your style of writing, your humor or not your humor, um, needs to match, right? Okay, in terms of closing thoughts here. On the 13th at seven o'clock, we're gonna talk about some more like more like broad general stuff, so like how do I get my transcript, what do I do, um, interviews. I'm hoping to get a college rep here, or on Zoom, to talk to everybody as well. So we're gonna do that the 13th at seven o'clock. Right now, there are a lot of schools that are coming to visit, both in person and online. So I will send you this, but if you literally go to our school's webpage, or Naviance, we'll do Naviance. Everybody still has Naviance open? If you go to like the main screen, and you go up at the top, you go to colleges, and then you go to college visits, If you go to colleges and college visits, the list of visitors is in Naviance. I'm going to send you a link. You could like add a calendar to your Google Calendar if you're like into something like that. As you can see, there are a lot of people coming to visit. And there are people signing up like as we speak. So the colleges like sign up through Naviance and it gets posted. So the list is forever being changed. To a certain extent. It's there forever being updated. So if you don't see something there, it either means they haven't signed up yet or potentially they're not coming or zooming. But um, there's a lot of schools there right now. There are a lot of schools there right now. I'm asking that you sign up. How to sign up is over in that register now button. It's really quick, it's really simple. The reason I want you to sign up is because if a rep comes, if a rep comes and it says zero's registered, I might be like, oh, sorry, nobody showed up. And we may or may not talk for a few minutes and then that person's gonna leave. But then if you show up like 15 minutes late, and it's like, Where's the Iona rep? And I'm like, well, they just left because you didn't sign up and we didn't know anybody was coming. You're going to kind of miss that opportunity to, um, to demonstrate interest, right? Yeah. So, or hear information from them. Um, so you just want to make sure that you register. Not to mention it helps like, like staffing. Okay, we did the teacher's letters. Okay. Louisiana State is coming. Okay. Has anyone from Wellsville ever gone there? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> People have applied. I don't think anybody's gone. I told that. I told that rep. I was like, um, Honestly, I don't really think. The, like, but they wanted to come. Like, okay. I um, am happy to answer any questions. Yeah.